our esteemed chief guest, Mr. Rudra Banu Satpati, CEO founder, Technorate Group. We are honored to have you here today, sir, and looking forward to your inspiring words. Campus innovation kickstart of research life. Please join me in welcoming Mr. Rudra Banu Satpati to the stage. Vidya Prasayate Luke Vidya Sarvatra Gaurava Vidya Lavate Sarvam Vidya Sarvatra Pujate Esteemed dignitaries, revered dean of this renowned institution, my most respected, my mentor, my guru, Dr. G.P. Ramesh, big thinkers of new beginning, wizards of science, connoisseurs of innovations. In fact, it was a short notice of invitation, but I could not repudiate looking at the outstanding works and projects shortlisted for this exhibition here. We talk of clean and green energy, talk of technology for healthcare, artificial intelligence, machine learning, IOTs for enhanced agriculture productivity, alternative energy, clean energy, virtual and augmented reality and many more. This morning is wonderful morning here to see all these bright faces, engineers for next 50 years, those who have taken this pain to travel all the way from nook and corners of Tamil Nadu, Maharashtra, Andhra Pradesh, Karnataka, Telangana and many, many other states with a confidence and with a positive attitude of exhibiting their ideas and innovation that reiterates again to think that we all are working together to build technically advanced new India. My little brothers and sisters here, a couple of years ago, our country celebrated 75th years of independence. During this course of period, of ups and downs and several challenges like population rise, environment, geopolitical crisis and issues. Over the period of independence until date, breaking the bottleneck of primitive education system installed or implemented by colonialism era that solely focused on educating a minor community to serve only elite British Indian rather than coming from the scenario to build up education system that focuses on science and science towards engineering and engineering towards national development was a challenging journey. In fact, we call it it takes a time, it takes a lot of effort to build a scenario. In fact, today, our country ranks third in terms of producing PhD scholars and we have ranked ourselves third in publishing our research works and articles in so citation indexing SEI journals. Other than that, as per World Intellectual Property Organization, WIPO, our country has ranked 40 in GII, Global Innovation Index, emerging from rank of global rank of 83 in 2015, in last eight years. With this massive progress, I still believe we have enormous potential in our country. In fact, every year we graduate 15 lakhs engineers and we produce over 4 lakhs final semester projects but it's a matter of regret that we do not consider them we do not work on it we do not take it ahead many of the projects are unidentified unrecognized and unimplemented also so we have come across an idea this is the initiation that we will be indexing every ideas and innovations of engineering students all across the India 
to shortlist great potential outcome innovations outstanding innovations that could be implemented for national development over in this this 10 years of academic entrepreneurship we have gone through we have felt enormous potential in indian market especially research market and if ideas and innovations inculcated at the grassroots levels of the country could be dumped into a single database that will create a colossal think tank that will be helpful for humanity we work on our research works and projects i i, I went through uh, many of the works we have done with a, a short scroll we all talk about industrial revolution 5.0 so how do industrial revolution 5.0 varies from the one 4.0 industrial revolution 4.0 focused on industrial productivity and efficiency but in the 5.0 we have an advanced category and advanced priorities that focuses on humanity and sustainability your innovations your applications your thoughts should not only promulgate outcomes productivity and efficiency rather it should focus on sustainability as well this industrial revolution focuses primarily we human being are not meant to work for industries rather industries companies and corporate are meant to assist and make our life easier till 4.0 we are focusing on utilizing resources manpower towards better outcome but when we step into 5.0 the things have changed its industries organizations and corporates are meant for convenience of individuals so human being to work aside machines in form of augmented and virtual reality keeping aside and keeping priority on ai artificial intelligence and internet of things my beloved brothers and sisters here research entrepreneurship is all above entrepreneurship today we watch lot of tv serials coming up shark tanks and and lot of lot of the things and we we fascinated ourselves and see the dreams of becoming entrepreneurs believe me research entrepreneurship that involves research applications of science plugging uniqueness prioritizing on novelty utilizing engaging science to combat the forthcoming challenges and crises is a wonderful opportunity and we have lot of scope on research entrepreneurship our organization ifrp has been focusing to encourage research entrepreneurship through capacity development programs this research entrepreneurship scopes and opportunity will suit you best for industrial revolution 5.0 wow how 5.0 focus on three dimensions as well one is sustainability we have to keep our future generation in a comfortable zone without affecting hampering their safe zones their safety their establishment and in fact their sustainability second is human centric industries as i said industries corporates technologies are meant towards welfare of society humanity so it's called as human centric and we are in a verge of building engineers for next 50 years that will raise india to a global economy research outcomes if increased at national level will raise to the economy so we focus on enhancing the research efficiency of our students and faculties enhancement of research efficiency of faculties and students through capacity building programs would result in enhanced research productivity of institutions and organizations 
enhance research productivity and outcomes will raise the national research outcome and ultimately proportionate to a accelerated growth in national economy so we believe in investing on our individual students we have encouraged student chapters student membership so all round services 360 degree services could be provided to our students i strongly believe the high quality content educations and learning available across the globe should be our basic rights and we mobilize the community academic community scientific community to let us access their content through our platform uninterrupted continuous industrial education and learning is a very important aspect and we do prioritize it by organizing international and national conferences in different developing and developed districts of india so that our students can get a privilege and opportunity to access the learning scopes in continuous industrial education as well we have been also trying to focus through ifrp academy for education and learning in three dimension particularly in technical curriculum research aspects and upscaling as well i express my hearty gratitude to everyone here those who have traveled long way to share your ideas and innovations and these initiatives by institute for engineering research and publication and srm institute of science and technology to motivate you to encourage you is just a beginning i urge the student community to step forward and take the pledge of paying back to the society that includes our parents our teachers our friends our society our family everyone who has made us and supported us to become the engineers we have to take a pledge to pay them back by building a technically super advanced country i wish you everyone a wonderful stay here in chennai those who have travel long away and i believe our upcoming works and initiatives we take like research funding and the the proposals i think uh, you people might be getting notifications about the funding proposals we do so that these innovations this project ideas could be taken ahead and could be applied through ifrp funding schemes or through necessary public sectors and private sectors or necessary quarters where these works could be appreciated and could be taken up for the implementation as well I wish everyone a wonderful stay here once again and wish everyone all the best. Thank you very much.